Hi guys, it is a warm, drizzly day in the end times here in the drought-plagued wasteland of South Austin, Texas. We have made it to Tuesday, February 25th, 2014. I just finished uh, my wacky conspiracy rant about space aliens, but somehow during that uh, rant, uh, I just had a flash on just some crazy ham bone adventure. Uh, that I had uh, a few years ago, so the details, unfortunately, are becoming foggy. So I just want to record this for I anybody interested uh, in the Church of the OTO and Alistair Crowley uh, and, and those, those guys. So anyway, this was, what year was this? I believe this was about 10 years ago. Uh, I actually went on to the Yahoo Personals. This is ancient history when Hambone Little Tail used to actually have sex. This was back in those weird days when, uh, in, in my sexually active days. And so I was uh, looking for love in the Yahoo Personals. And uh, I found her, boy, let me tell you, did I find a winner? <clears throat> did I hit the Yahoo Personals jackpot? And uh, did she answer my ad or did I answer hers? I believe she answered my ad in the Yahoo Personals. And this is, guys, this is before uh, I took the red pill. This is when I was just basically a... Uh, uh, a, a, I don't know otherwise, a dumb redneck or a dumb hippie. I guess in this version, I was a dumb redneck uh, in this version of the story. So anyway, I meet this chick on the Yahoo Personals, and she gave me some weird warning about her religious beliefs. She was in the other category. Uh, the OT category. Well, what it turns out is that this is that this chick was uh, in, involved in some cult called the Church of the OTO. Uh, to this day, I don't know what OTO stands for. It's some Latin term, I believe. But she wasn't just involved in this in the Church of the OTO. She was, in fact. I believe I'm getting this term right. I'll probably get some uh, trolls from the OTO uh, writing in on this. I believe she was the high priestess of the local Austin, Texas Church of the OTO. So she wasn't some little, uh, this chick was not some, uh, some piker. She was the queen of the OTO. She might still be to this day. If you are, darling, uh, I, I hope you're having fun with, with, with your bunch of wackos uh, in there. So, guys, I'm not going to pretend, even after, even after dating the, uh, the high priestess of the Church of the OTO, we made it about six months before I fled uh, on the 4th of July into the night. Uh, Anywho, <laughs> I'm not going to pretend. Now, I was down at, at the uh, Conspiracy Wacko bookstore here in Austin a few months ago, and I noticed that I wish I would give you the name of the book and the author that uh, I was looking through the books on the shelves and someone has written a full expose on the Church of the OTO. According to this uh, wacky conspiracy uh, researcher, the Church of the OTO, according to this guy, is the single, the single most evil, I I'm just talking pure evil cult, whatever you want to call them, church my ass, they're a cult. Uh, the most evil cult on planet Earth is, uh, so I did not buy the book because I already believe the guy. Uh, so anyway, 
uh, the Church of the OTO, but the, probably the scariest thing about these guy, uh, about these folks is just like these these UFO space alien wackos I was talking about a few minutes ago. They're the most average people if you meet these guys like this chick I was dating she was a nurse she was a home health nurse driving around in her little Toyota Corolla you know again very intelligent college educated uh, anyway I, I, I don't I never found out the story how she she ever got involved with this band of this band of evil whack jobs but they just appear the most normal people and 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 how just in case this ever happens to you especially if it's someone you met on yahoo personal let let, let this be a warning to you guys and girls if if you're new uh if you're a new friend you met on the personals if you ever notice them just walking up to somebody they don't know and out of the blue they use they say the word 93 93 I have no idea what this what this means uh, this is how they find each other that they will walk up to a total stranger that they for some reason might suspect is in this cult in this secret society of the church of the OTO and how they find that, that's what they'll do. They'll say 93, very casually to the person. You know, they'll be talking, it sure is a warm, drizzly day today, 93. I wonder when it's going to start raining. And, they'll, and so if the person says back to them, 93, that is the, uh, that is the way they find each other. Just to let you know, if this ever happens, if someone you know uh, says the word 93 to a total stranger, but what I'm here to talk about uh, is that uh, I was actually, and guys, I, I, I want to make it 100% clear for the record that I, I, I let this, uh, I, I, I let my little sweetheart know from day one that I had zero interest in joining her church, uh, being initiated into her secret society. No interest. Darling, this is your little, your little, uh, little thing. But, uh, so I was never initiated, but I was actually had the unbelievably rare opportunity, which I'm going to share with you now, of being invited into an initiation ceremony to the church of the OTO. Uh, this, uh, I, I ham on little tail, uh, got a peek into the single most evil uh, cult on this planet, which my girlfriend had just so happened to be the high priestess of. So, this was on a Sunday afternoon, and it was somewhere like, I don't know what it was, like a oil change place. I don't know what the hell. It was, it was some normal, everyday business during the week that on Sunday afternoon got, uh, got turned into an altar of the of the church of the OTO. So we go in we, through the front lobby of this of this mainstream American business somewhere up in some commercial strip mall in North Austin, Texas, and you walk through that and then you get back to this weird looking little where they had converted the back room of this business to uh, the temple or the altar and, and uh, up there on some sort of makeshift stage. I, I'm not even going to pretend to tell you what all was there. It, all I can say it was bizarre because I really wasn't paying much attention to the rest of the stage because taking center stage in her throne was my girlfriend. My girlfriend, but ass naked in her throne with her legs spread 
here, imagine this, guys. There you are uh, heading into the Church of the OTO and finding your girlfriend, the high priestess, sitting in a throne, butt-ass naked, spread-eagled in a throne with, uh, with all of her little uh, fruit uh, on full display for the audience. And uh, so they go in to this absolutely bizarre uh, ritual. And this is the initiation meeting, uh, which involved the new initiates with, with me sitting there watching my butt-ass naked girlfriend, the high priestess of the OTO, they would, they would come up on stage and they would kneel between her open legs and, and they would cite uh, their their vows. Now I think, now obviously my, I think my girlfriend was representing the feminine energy of the universe. I, I, I vaguely remember some naked guy standing next to the throne or maybe he had this some sort of I don't know what it was some sort of staff shaped like a it was a big erect penis like a big dildo or something uh, I don't I guess he was representing the male energy of the universe so anyway so all of these initiates both men and women would kneel in front of my girlfriend and kiss her right here and right here they would uh, she would get two kisses about three inches from her pussy they would kiss her not directly on the, uh, the they, they didn't go for the bullseye they were off to the side and I don't know what they did to the guy uh, to the male energy I don't know I can't remember if they gave this uh, this sort of blowjob or not because I was thinking ham bone you are uh, you're in a little over your head right now buddy and uh, so anyway I guess they th this this whole church of the OTO it has something to do with that evil monger Alistair Crowley if you don't know him, so they evoke the wit and wisdom of Aleister Crowley, you know, that do, do as you will, you know, it's like Aleister Crowley taking anarchy, to uh, putting anarchy on steroids, the do as you will, and it has something to do with Aleister Crowley's interpretation of the is it the Kabbalah or the Kabbalah? So it's some weird mix uh, of, of the teachings of that evil son of a bitch, Aleister Crowley, interpretation of the Kabbalah or something. But, it, but the end result is, was my Yahoo Personals girlfriend sitting naked, spread eagled on her throne in the back of a pit stop in North Austin, Texas on a Sunday afternoon. And, and it wasn't uh, long thereafter that I weaseled my way out of that. But I will say, guys, I, I, I do want to, it wasn't all bad. Uh, because on the 4th of July, which was days before, a couple of days before our, our little love affair crashed and burned, we went to a 4th of July party out there in what is now a condo complex uh, in northwest Washington. And at that time, her friends had this really cool old house before the Planet Eaters moved in, and I remembered... I had never seen one of these birds, these painted buntings. If you know what a painted bunting is, it's the coolest, it is the single coolest songbird in, in, uh, in the U.S. called a painted bunting. And at that party, they had a whole flock of these. I guess the woman running the party, uh, like six pairs 
of these painted bunnings flitting back and forth to the bird feeder on the 4th of July. And so while all her little OTO buddies were doing whatever it is they do to celebrate the 4th of July, I had no interest in what was going on in the back of the house. I, in, I spent my 4th of July with a flock of painted buntings. So if that was the reason uh, the high priestess of the Church of the OTO was brought into my life for six months, uh, I'm glad she was because I never had seen one of these little birds before and now that the planet eaters have moved in and turned the painted bunted bunting sanctuary into a condo complex, there probably are no more painted buntings in Austin, Texas, and I will probably never see one again. But that is the happy ending to this Dumb Hippies Adventures in the Yahoo Personals in the Church of the OTO for anyone uh, still with me. And I have no idea why I shared that story. If there's anything in there for you to take home with you, I hope it helped. But it is starting to rain here in the drought-plagued wasteland of South Austin, Texas. So I better go put the rain fly over my tent. Bye, guys. Brother Cardinal. What else do I hear out here? The songbirds. I do not hear the song of the painted bunting, unfortunately. Bye, guys.